All right, everyone, welcome to a brand new video. Now, in today's video, what we're going to be doing is going to be fitting a brand new Alcantara steering wheel cover. Now, this is going to have the blue center line and the blue stitching to match all the interior and all the other little blue bits that I've put around the car. I've never installed one of these before, so I've watched the video on how to do it, and I feel pretty confident about it. We're going to see how it goes. But yeah, if you're watching this as like a tutorial video, then obviously it's going to be the same for every steering wheel cover you put on. It's just obviously my car in particular is a bmw steering wheel but it's going to be the same method um with whatever steering wheel cover you put on let me show you the steering wheel what it looks like before and then obviously at the end of the video you'll see what it looks like after okay so this is the steering wheel beforehand as you can see it's like a it's like a leather it's really cold as well like you know leather steering wheel it feels all right it feels all right but um as you can see from this side it's actually pretty warm like i've noticed through some uh, videos where I use the GoPro where it like stands on the windscreen that when I look back this is already warm this side so um having all this redone with a nice blue stitching Alcantara wheel because it goes with all the with all the blue Alcantara here the blue stitching on here on the seats and the Alcantara and all the blue as well on here it will really tie it all in together and this should look really really good but yeah i'm gonna get the steering wheel cover out of the box now and we'll take a look okay i've got the box here it is absolutely chucking down outside so if you're wondering why we're doing another modification this is why because at the moment it's so wet outside that i don't really want to be driving around in that because i don't find that all that that fun but here is the box here's the instructions i feel like i'm not going to be using these because i already know kind of what to do from the video and then we got the tape now this tape that they give you i'm not going to be using that as well because um i feel like when it's really hot and like in it if i like, say this is still on in like a year's time and like say the next person who, who had the car wanted to take it off or if i wanted to take it off because it looked really rough if it had like the glue had melted onto the steering wheel and made all this actual the actual steering wheel itself look like weird and sticky and horrible then obviously that's not very good so i'm going to not put that on i just hope that it holds well enough with just the blue stitching and obviously there's the the tool to like put it all in tuck it all into these edges all around here but um yeah that's that and the actual steering wheel cover itself is in here as you can see the alcantara with the blue stitching the blue center line but that should look really good but yeah let's go about now putting it on the wheel all right so move this and then this is obviously going to be quite a tight bit there we go around there like so all right everyone so i've done a little practice at it to just do the first bit so i kind of know what i'm doing um and it is so difficult to do like the actual stitching itself is fine but the bit i'm struggling with is like the, the last little bit at the very end which is like just doing the knot and for some reason like i'm watching a video at the same time i'm doing it and it's very difficult it's like not doing what the guy did in the video for some reason but i'll show you what i've done so far it's not the best job but hopefully it gets better as i get more used to it like i did one and then i had to redo it undo all the stitching because i didn't do the thread long enough so literally do the thread about an arm and a half length and then double it up so like a lot um and then that should be enough but yeah i'll show you the little first section that i've done so far so as you can see this little corner is what i've done so far um and yeah it's come out it's come out all right i've what i've done with the threads is basically go through each individual one just at the start and at the end just so it really tightens it up and then i've gone every other one for the middle bit um and it's come out it's come out all right i suppose um but yeah uh there's a few little gaps and everything but honestly if i don't like it afterwards i can just take it off but hopefully it's all right um but now i've got the whole top to do and that side as well i think i'm going to try and go round now round here uh, and do all that and then i think at the very end is when i tuck in all of these bits round the steering wheel that's when i tuck in all of those all right so i'll try and do it so you can see but i've got the the needle here um and obviously it's because i'm doing the top bit now like the really big bit i'm going to literally get more like loads of thread like absolutely loads I'll thread a needle through through that just like so and then what you want to do is find the other end and at this end you basically with the two ends the you basically just want to tie a knot so then the thread doesn't go through uh, and you can do i do a double knot just to make sure okay so what you do 
is you get the inside of, of the bit and you put it through from the inside to the outside on the on the thread and you go through the original needle hole that's already been put in okay just like that so then you pull this all the way through like so all right so now it's threaded through these two tangly bits here you can literally just chop them off just like that as close as you can to the knot without obviously chopping the knot off uh, now you've done that um, you want to find the other side uh, and you basically want to find the other the other thread and with the other thread you don't um, go through the outside uh, you don't push it through you literally like so say this is the other side so say I've just gone through you basically push it through the outside like that like I've done and then pull it through so I've basically gone through so I've come out of there and I've gone over the top and through the other side but I, I like through the thread and now I've pulled it back this through this way and now you go through again you go through like that and then you go over and then you go through the same direction say this is the other side you go through there and the same the other side then you put it back across and you can basically do each one I do each one so probably about there and then I'll do one every other one every other thread round to that side and then I'll do again on this bit I'll do every single one all right many many hours later um, well it probably took me about 45 minutes to an hour to do that top bit it's just getting used to it like every time I do one I'm getting better and better but uh, yeah I'll show you the results you've still got one little section to do but take a look at this okay so this is the wheel so far as you can see we still got this bit to do here um, and we still have to tuck in all the bits uh, around here and everything but so far I feel like it's coming out all right and yeah just to get give you guys an idea of how the stitching works like I said you put it through the thing and then you basically you push it through over um, through one stitch through the one the other side and you put it across and then you push it through that stitch the one directly opposite the other side uh, same direction then you put it across diagonally push it through and then when you get past these little bits do one every other. it's up to you how you guys want to do it but if you're looking to do it but yeah this will make the inside of this car look so good let's just finish this last little section off hopefully it doesn't take me too long and we'll be done Alright everyone, I've completed the wheel, it is completely done and I'm actually pretty happy with it. It's not the per it's not perfect, obviously because it's my first time actually doing something like this. But yeah, no, overall it's come out better than I thought to be fair. It's come out better than I thought. I've tucked it all in, it's all ready. So here it is. So as you can see, it's like it's all fitted really well. It's all gone in nicely. Obviously there's, there's a few things like I've of like not almost, almost not not tightened it properly like this is the first bit i did like this is the first attempt that i'd ever done um and then yeah this is but up close it's it's not like the best but honestly from from driving it like back here it's fine like you have to really inspect it to notice like the proper like to notice like the imperfections but i am super happy with this what we got to do now is go for a drive but as you can see the weather is basically saying nah because uh, we'll wait for a good day to go up for a drive of this um but yeah no i'm really happy with it it feels nice yeah let me know what you think of it leave a like subscribe down below and yeah comment any other mods you think i should do as well because i think interior wise i think we're done but if you can think of anything else put it down in the, in the comments below but yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one <laughs>